power bounces on the devil on the ground, thinking the devil is the one they are hunting for. Makima goes to them, and she tells power that she could be arrested for killing a public safety devil. She tells her that she will be let off with a warning but warns her it should never happen again. She tells power that she wants to see her do well in the profession she has chosen for her and says if she keeps up with her reckless acts, she might be chased away. She turns to Denji and tells him it's his responsibility to keep power in check and he shouldn't fail in his responsibility. However, Denji speaks in his defense. He tells Makima that he didn't do anything wrong, and it is all power's fault. He says he knows nothing about it. Makima tells Denji that before power became a devil hunter, she was a blood devil who is known for their violent acts and their inability to withhold seeing other devils. So she concludes that maybe power is not cut fit to be a devil hunter. Genji supports her idea. He tells Makima to send power away, and at that moment, power decides to pour the blame on Denji. She says it was Denji who commanded her to kill the sea cucumber devil, and it wasn't her fault. An argument starts between them, while Denji says he didn't tell her to do anything of such. Power says she is a devil and can't lie, so if there is anyone lying between them, it's Denji who is a human and a liar. Denji speaks in his defense. He tells Makima that he didn't do anything wrong, and Power is lying against him. Makima, who doesn't have the intention to punish any of them, gets tired of their shouts and orders them to keep shut. Power obeys Makima's order immediately. Makima tells him she isn't ready to push blame between them, and in fact, she isn't interested in knowing who is at fault or not. All she wants is to see them work well as partners without creating any new nuisance for their department. Left with no other choice, they both promise her that they will do well. They leave for a supermarket, where Denji instantly goes to pick a drink. He drinks his cold drink, and Power keeps looking at several varieties of drinks without knowing which one to pick. She hears a sound behind her and she sees a cat. She carries the cat and starts petting him while Denji drinks. After a short while, Denji breaks the silence between them and tells Power that the ability to stop and take a drink is a privilege. He says he doesn't want to flop their privileges he has gotten even if it means that he will work with someone as annoying as Power who also lies a lot. He turns and sees Power tending to a cat. Power says she hates humans and it's not like they have offended her, it's just personal preference. She also says she hates devils too. She remembers her old cat, which she named Meowie and says it was a devil who took her cat. She tells Denji that when she wanted to save her cat, she fell into Makima's hands and she will do anything to remain in the human world if it means finding her cat back, although she also acknowledges that the cat may be long gone. She asks Denji if he likes cats, and he tells her it's unreasonable to like cats. He says the only thing in his life that he will leave every other thing to go for is a breast, and he can't have an opportunity to fondle a lady's breast. He tells Power that if Power's obsession was with dogs, then he would have found it more reasonable. Power asks him if he will help her with finding the demon that took her cat, and when she finds her cat, will allow him to fondle her breast. Such an opportunity is one that Denji couldn't resist. He happily goes nearer to Power and tells her that as a devil hunter, it's his responsibility to find the devil who took her cat, and he will ensure he does his duty and get his reward too. After that agreement, they leave for the office where he helps Power sign for her leave. Naturally, Power isn't allowed out of the office because of her violent nature, and in the case where she is allowed out of the office, the attendant asks Denji to bring her back once it's time. Power and Denji take the train with the aim of finding the devil that has taken Power's cat, called Miaoi, and defeat the devil. However, Power is pessimistic about the journey. She says that she fears only Denji will fight the battle against the demon, as the demon will most likely use her cat to threaten her, and she won't be able to fight while seeing her cat in danger. As they travel, Denji tells her he also had a pet devil named Pochita. He says that although he can no longer call Pochita his pet devil again, as Pochita is dead, he is sure that Pochita lives in his heart. Power calls him a fool. She says humans are stupid, and she is sure that what he means by living on his mind means he's physically dead. She says humans' idea of something living in their mind is just a fallacy to make themselves happy, while Genji keeps staring at her breast. He admits that she is right about her words. He speaks to himself as he wonders if he can ever get along with power. On the other hand, Makama and Hayakawa attend a board meeting. During the meeting, the members of public safety tell Makama that they fear the Soviet Union is attempting to use demons for their war and says they hope the only enemy Japan will have is the devil. 
They ask her for an update about the new team she has recruited and the para devils under her. She tells them that one of them is promising, and the other one is interesting. The board leader asks her what she means by promising and reminds her they are just test objects and she should not get attached to them. After the meeting, Hayakawa drives Makama back home. As they wait by the traffic light, he engages her in a conversation. He says he doesn't see Denji as someone or something interesting, and he doesn't know why Makama has that much hope for Denji. After the short silence, Makama eventually replies to him. She drinks her coffee and tells him a devil gets his name after their birth, and that name is what qualifies his level of skills. If a devil's name is feared, it's obvious the devil will be strong. She makes some pictorial examples and says that if there is a coffee devil since coffee isn't scary, the devil might not be scary. But if there's a car devil, considering the number of risks around a car, the devil will be scary. Based on that analogy, Denji is a chainsaw devil, which makes her interested in what he may become. At this point, Hayakawa admits that Denji may be interesting, but he remains of the opinion that he doesn't think Denji will be useful for them. He says every member of their public safety has their motivation, and this motivation pushes them to be something better, but Denji doesn't have a motivation. All he wants is to live a good life, and as though that's not enough disadvantage, Denji also believes he can be friends with the devils. Meanwhile, Denji comes down from the bus with power. She tells him her cat is with the devil in that building, and he tells her he has the skills to get her cat back and that he can also bring out a chainsaw from his body. She assumes his word is a joke and says humans have stupid jokes. They walk towards the house, and as they get near to the house, Denji reminds her that she told him the devil may use the cat to threaten her if she walks towards the home first and asks her why she's walking forward. She pretends to be ignorant and says she has forgotten what she has said and that she was lying. At that point, Denji figured something was wrong, but it's too late. Power attacks him and injures him. Power laughs at him for being so stupid, then she drags him into the building to meet the bat devil waiting there. The bat says he thought she wasn't coming back, and she tells him she hasn't found an opportunity to bring humans to him. She gives Denji to the bat as a human. The bat carries Denji up. He tells Denji that humans like him were the ones who injured him and cut off his hands and made him start staying away. He says Denji will be the human sacrifice to make him get whole. He squeezes Denji's throat, and Denji spits blood into his mouth. He uses Denji's blood to create the other parts of his body, although he screams that Denji's blood is bitter. He regains his strength and punctures through the building by himself. He comes out and looks outside the street. He says he needs pure human blood to cleanse the bad blood he has taken from Denji, and he is smelling cigarettes and makeup around, so he figures there are humans around that he could eat inside the building. Power laughs at Denji and tells him she doesn't believe that he actually believes her. He looks at her and remembers Hayakawa's words about trusting or becoming friends with the devil and figures Hayakawa was right. Power asks the bat for her cat, and the bat remembers he has taken her cat captive. He brings out the cat from where he has hidden it and tells Power that as a consequence of bringing him bad blood, he will kill her cat. He swallows her cat as she looks at him. She remembers the first time she met her pet. She had just finished killing a devil, and she saw the creature looking at her with sweet eyes. She feels pity for the creature, and she takes it home. She finds a cow and squeezes blood out of it for her cat, and they become friends. She was lonely, and she was at the top of the roof when the wounded bat dragged her cat away from her and said that if she wanted her cat back, she should find him human blood, which was why she brought Denji. She looks at Denji and tells him she can now feel what he felt when he lost his pet. The bat takes power and swallows her too. He prepares to enter the city and find humans to eat, but as he flies, Denji hangs onto his leg. Then she thinks about what power must have been going through when her cat was missing. He remembers when Pochito was missing for a day and how he went around the town looking for him. He tells the bat that he wants his breast back, and he changes into a chainsaw man. The bat is shocked that he is human. He uses his saw to cut the bat's hand off, and they fall into a building, which is an office. He tells the lady in the office to leave, and the bat wonders why a devil is trying to save the lives of humans. They take the fight into the street, and Denji avoids injuring any human. The bat figures that's his weak point, and he throws a car with a man at him. Denji saves the man in the car and then throws the car at the bat. The bat releases some substances, which he believes should kill Denji. He assumes Denji is dead and he attempts to eat a human and gain his powers back, but Denji stands up. 
He says he's tired of laying back, and he jumps at